Hello guys, today I want to talk about global settings in your website. For example, if you want to customize some kind of footer text or header text or something like that, like for example, title. So here I have a title based on our, by the way, Lara starters package. So I've generated this kind of admin panel with user list and dashboard based on windmill theme, tailwind theme with our free package called Lara starters. And I will link to that in the description below. But the topic of today is not the windmill theme. It's actually customizing this text, for example, which is in the blade. So in the navigation blade, in my case, we have this. As an example, it could be, as I said, footer text, some repeating text on some section of the website, and you want to customize that. Of course, you can customize it by putting that into config. So config app, for example, site title, something like this, but then it wouldn't be customizable by the users by the non-technical users. So a better way is to have some kind of admin panel for them so they would be responsible for editing that themselves. But the easier way is just to put that into the database. Why database and not config? You would say that we still need a developer to fix that. For example, if manager told you that you need to change that text, what is the difference that you change that in the config or in the database? The difference is the deployment. So either you need to commit the code, test it, merge, and then deploy to the server, or you just go to the database and change it. So there's no code commit to change the text. That's already one step further. And of course, on top of that, on top of the database, there should be some kind of admin panel if necessary. But for now, for this example, let's take that one step and put this in the database. So this is exactly what I did in this project. I created a model called setting for any settings in that project. So setting has fillable of key and value. Key is a string, value is text, just in case it could be longer. And then with the database seeder, I've also seeded one setting by default, which is key site title and my website. And here in the navigation blade, we need to get that from the settings. But it is quite a bad practice in the blade in the view to make database queries. So where do we make that query from instead? In app service provider, you can define this view share some kind of key and some kind of value. The key is site settings, which we'll use in the blade and the value comes from the database, but cached. This is pretty important because for header and footer, there will be a lot of requests and there's a small chance that it will change. So you can optimize the performance with caching that. So you get setting all from the database, then you get key by key, which is a collection function then. And then you cache that for an hour or whatever time period you want under the same key of site settings. And then in your blade, you have something like this. So instead of that windmill, you have site settings with the site title as a key because we use that key by collection method and then value would be from the database. Otherwise, if it doesn't exist, we still fall back to the windmill. So now if we save, refresh, and we have my website instead. And caching would make sure that if we change that in the database, the database has this. So if I change that to my websites, for example, this has changed in the database, but I didn't refresh the cache, clear the cache in Laravel. I refresh the website and it's still my website, not my websites. To refresh the cache, you can do that in the code or manually by doing PHP artisan cache clear. And then if we refresh the page now, we have my websites because it's taken from the database and cached again for an hour in our case. For these simple settings, it's totally fine and enough to have simple database table, but I found out a few packages for more complex settings. So there's a well-known Spotty Laravel settings, which allows you to have separate settings class with more strict structure like string bool and others. So it has much more functionality with configuration and ability to save that data, not only in the database, but also in Redis, for example, or another well-known package is Laravel app settings from Q code. And it provides also admin panel for managing the config. So you define the settings here in your config. And then you have something like this. Of course, you need to protect that by middleware. So only admins could access that. But it's a visual layer on top of the settings database structure based by the way on bootstrap. So that would work for you if you're a bootstrap user and you can use it without UI. So the same package uses another package of the same 
vendor Laravel settings, which takes care of the database layer. And then the Laravel app settings provides the UI for that. So these are two most well-known packages about the settings that I found online. What is your experience where you stored the settings? Maybe you have some advice about some techniques for storing or caching in different way, or maybe some other packages. Share your experience in the comments below and subscribe to the channel to get daily videos. Also, you can support the channel, support my overall mission of educational content by going to laraveldaily.com and subscribing to yearly or monthly membership. And then you will get all the premium courses and premium tutorials from here. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.